Hello students. In this video, I will continue with the other problems in the exercise 13.1. See this problem. Limit extending to 0 sin ax divided by sin bx. If you put x equal to 0, sin 0 is 0 and denominator is also 0 which is indeterminate form. To solve this problem, first step divide both numerator and denominator by x. We will have limit extending to 0 sin ax by x divided by sin bx divided by x. And you know that limit of quotient of two function is quotient of the limits of the function. And this will become limit extending to 0 sin ax by x divided by limit extending to 0 sin bx by x. And both are standard limits. Apply the formula limit extending to 0 sin ax by x is equal to a and limit extending to 0 sin bx by x equal to b. That's why this is equal to a by b. Now let us continue with the other problem. Limit extending to pi sin pi minus x divided by pi into pi minus x. Here if you put x equal to pi what happens you first you check it. That is equal to sin pi minus pi divided by pi into pi minus pi. And sin pi minus pi means sin 0 that is equal to 0. And uh, denominator is also 0 which is 0 by 0 which is indeterminate form. Once it is in the indeterminate form you have to use other technique to find the limit of the function. And in this problem you put pi minus x equal to y. What happens you just observe. When you put pi minus x equal to y as x tends to pi, y tends to 0, right, is here, put x equal to pi here and uh, y will become 0 and as x tends to pi, y tends to 0 and now the limit will reduce like this, limit y tends to 0 sin y divided by pi y because pi minus x is y, it's here, sin y divided by pi y because pi minus x equal to y. And here 1 by pi is constant and you can take outside the limit that is equal to 1 by pi into limit y tends to 0 sin y by y. What is limit y tends to 0 sin y by y which is equal to 1 and that is equal to 1 by pi into 1 that is equal to 1 by pi. And this is the answer for this problem. And see the next problem. Limit x tending to 0 cos x divided by pi minus x. And if you put x equal to 0, it will become cos 0 divided by pi minus 0. What is the value of cos 0? Cos 0 is 1 divided by pi and that is equal to 1 by pi which is the limit of the function. If it is in the indeterminate form, then only you have to use the technique to find the limit of the function. Otherwise, whatever the value you will get that itself the limit of the function and see here limit extending to 0 cos 2x minus 1 divided by cos x minus 1 and if you put x equal to 0 what happens you here cos 0 minus 1 divided by cos 0 minus 1 what is the value of cos 0 1 1 minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 that is equal to 0 by 0 which is indeterminate form. Now to find the limit of this function, let us use this formula. What is cos 2x? 1 minus 2 sin square x. And uh, cos 2x minus 1, if you bring 1 to left hand side, cos 2x minus 1 is equal to minus 2 sin square x. That is equal to limit extending to 0. Numerator is minus 2 sin square x. And denominator is minus 2 sin square x by 2 because it is cos x minus 1 and in place of 2x x is there and the right hand side will become 1 minus 2 sin square x by 2 and the same way we will have cos x minus 1 equal to minus 2 sin square x by 2 and minus 2 minus 2 gets cancelled and sin square x divided by sin square x by 2 and to find the limit of this let us use uh, the concept that is uh, limit extending to 0 sin x by x equal to 1 and to reduce that form you divide both numerator and denominator by x square 
numerator by x square and denominator by x square and the limit of the quotient of the function is quotient of the limits of the function this is equal to limit extending to 0 sin x by x whole square divided by limit extending to 0 sin x by 2 by x whole square and uh, you know the limit extending to 0 sin x by x which is equal to 1 and it is whole square is there that's why this is equal to 1 square denominator is limit extending to 0 sin a x by x form and limit extending to 0 sin a x by x is equal to a and what is a here 1 by 2 and the denominator is 1 by 2 square that's equal to 1 by 1 by 4 which is equal to 4 and uh, let us come to the next question limit extending to 0 a x plus x cos x divided by b sin x if you put x equal to 0 a into 0 is 0 plus x cos x is 0 into cos x that's also equal to 0 b into sin 0 is 0 and it is 0 by 0 which is indeterminate form and uh, the method of finding the limit of this problem is you have to divide both numerator and denominator by x and if you divide both numerator and denominator by x the problem will be reduced like this limit extending to 0 a x plus x cos x divided by x whole divided by b sin x divided by x and the limit of the quotient of the function is quotient of the limits of the function that is equal to limit extending to 0 a x plus x cos x by x divided by limit extending to 0 b sin x divided by x and if you divide the x for the numerator it will become like this limit extending to 0 a x by x is a x cos x by x is cos x a plus cos x and in the denominator you can take b outside the limit because b is constant b into limit extending to 0 sin x by x and now what is limit extending to 0 a which is equal to a only and what is limit extending to 0 cos x cos 0 and uh, that's equal to a plus 1 because cos 0 is 1 denominator b is constant what is limit extending to 0 sin x by x it is a standard limit and this limit is equal to 1 that is denominator is b and answer is a plus 1 by b and which is the answer for this limit next question is you have to find the limit extending to 0 x into sec x and first you try to find it by substituting the value of x x is 0 0 into sec 0 what is the value of sec 0 sec 0 is 1 and 0 into 1 what is 0 into 1 0 which is the limit of the given problem now see this question limit extending to 0 sin ax plus bx divided by ax plus sin bx where a comma b and a plus b are not equal to 0 and this is a standard question and uh, you can find it very easily with the same idea whatever you used earlier first you put x equal to 0 what happens you see sin 0 sin 0 is 0 plus 0 divided by 0 plus 0 which is 0 by 0 and which is indeterminate form and the method is here you have to divide both numerator and denominator by x divide both numerator and denominator by x the problem will reduce like this limit extending to 0 sin ax plus bx divided by x divided by ax plus sin bx divided by x and that is equal to limit extending to 0 sin ax by x plus b divided by limit extending to 0 a plus sin bx by x and what is limit extending to 0 sin ax by x that is equal to a and the numerator will become a plus b and denominator is also a plus b because limit extending to 0 sin bx by x equal to b and a plus b a plus b gets cancelled and you will get the answer 1 and this is the answer for the given problem and see this question limit extending to 0 cosec x minus cot x if you put x equal to 0 you will get cosec 0 minus cot 0 cosec 0 is not defined cot 0 is also not defined and uh, it is indeterminate form and it is actually infinity minus infinity and which is an indeterminate form and to solve the limit of this 
let us express cosec x and cot x in terms of sin and cos and limit extending to 0 1 by sin x minus cos x by sin x what is the lcm for this sin x is the lcm and it will become limit extending to 0 1 minus cos x divided by sin x even at this stage if you would x equal to 0 you will get 1 minus cos 0 is 1 1 minus 1 0 divided by 0 form and now you have to apply the formulae 1 minus cos x can be written as 2 sin square x by 2 and sin x can be written as 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 2 2 gets cancelled and 1 sin x by 2 cancels with the denominator and what will remain limit extending to 0 sin x by 2 divided by cos x by 2 what is sin x by 2 divided by cos x by 2 tan x by 2 limit extending to 0 tan x by 2 now if you put x equal to 0 it will become tan 0 and what is the value of tan 0 0 and which is the limit of this function and see this question limit extending to pi by 2 tan 2x divided by x minus pi by 2 if you put x equal to pi by 2 it will become tan pi divided by pi by 2 minus pi by 2 and tan pi is again 0 pi by 2 minus pi by 2 is also 0 and 0 by 0 form which is indeterminate form and to find the limit of the given problem just to put x minus pi by 2 is equal to y and put y is equal to x minus pi by 2 as x tends to pi by 2 y tends to 0 right as x tends to pi by 2 y will approaching 0 and uh, if you do the substitution in the given expression the left hand side is limit extending to pi by 2 tan 2x divided by x minus pi by 2 which is equal to limit y tends to 0 tan of 2 x what is x here y plus pi by 2 or pi by 2 plus y see here y is equal to x minus pi by 2 what is x pi by 2 plus y if you bring pi by 2 left hand side pi by 2 plus y is equal to x and replace x by pi by 2 plus y and x minus pi by 2 is equal to y and simplifying you will have limit y tends to 0 tan of pi plus 2y divided by y and you know that tan of 180 plus x is equal to tan x and it will become limit y tends to 0 tan 2y divided by y tan 2y can be written as sin 2y divided by cos 2y and you can split and write like this limit y tends to 0 sin 2y divided by y into 1 by cos 2y because sin 2y divided by cos 2y is equal to tan 2y and you can write sin 2y by y I'll group this together because this is a standard function and you know the limit of this function as y tends to 0 and that is equal to just see here 2 because limit y tends to 0 sin 2y by y is equal to 2 into second part is just put equal to 0 1 by cos 0 2 into 1 by cos 0 what is the value of cos 0 cos 0 is 1 that is 2 into 1 and that is equal to 2 and this is the answer for this problem and with this much I will conclude this session and uh, let us discuss with the other problems in this exercise which is slightly different problem in the next video thank you